Well, howdy there, mighty cellos, the mighty intermediate PSO cellos. Um, today we're going to have the talk about the cello part for the two folk dances. And um, this isn't too hard a piece, but I really like it because it's got everything that you want in a piece that we would play for the cellos. In the first dance, for example, we're the ones that get the melody most of the time. We, get, we start with it and everybody's going to repeat it after us. So it's very fun to come in after this introduction with the theme and everybody else is accompanying us. I really think that's the way it should be. So when you're going to start here, I would like to see you start this in second position. And it'll stay right on the G string when you do that. I'm shifting with the third finger and then Shift back and forth. If you can't do that, just play it in first position. But you have to play an extended position and cross over a string. It makes it a little bit more difficult. And it's essentially what you're doing pretty close at measure 22 when you're doing it on the A string. You just have to shift to play that E. <laughs> Now on that last note there, I'm playing one, four, three. So I'm playing uh, uh, that on the D string instead of shifting back and playing an open A. It sounds better than... Hear the difference? The A is going to stick out. All right, so the second movement has what the cellos kind of like dread always, but it's kind of cool at the same time. It is a... Um, it's a tango. Bum, 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 bum. We get it in a lot of classical music, um, a lot of Spanish flavored classical music. Uh, one of the things that you notice if you listen to Carmen, the uh, opera Carmen, the cellos get this all the time, and they set up the tango dance. And this, again, I like to play in position. You can play it in first position if you want when you have it. When you do that, you want to keep your first finger on the G string. So you could play both of those notes. But usually when I play this, I play this in, in fifth position. I like to play it. I shift back for the one. So I'm starting on a one. This is the note D, one on the G string, and then three. One. I like to do it that way. If you can do it that way, it might be a little more challenging. Knock yourself out. Just make sure you can do it well. There's a transition. Where is that? Um, that comes up on like measure 20, 25. So you're playing, you know, that one. I'm playing three, one, three, three. But you could go use the opening. measure 29, the important thing is to bring the low note, the bass note out, and you don't want to accent it. What you want to do is just make it nice and full. I think you're going to have fun with it, but sometimes where you get caught off guard is at the a tempo on measure 63. And we do this together. I do this also on the G string. So it's down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up.
have fun when you're practicing this and practice it with the tape. I think you're going to love it.